Hello, everyone. Welcome back to ABFDR Annual Conference. For our second paper today, we are very pleased to have Professor Tian Yu Zhang from the Chinese University of Hong Kong to present Firm News and Market Views, the Information Role of Official Newspaper in China. The discussion is Oliver Lee from National University of Singapore. Tian Yu, you have 25 minutes. Uh, thank you guys for the introduction. I share my PPT. Yeah, I want to thank the conference organizer to for accept the paper last year and then allow me to present the paper this year. So the title of the paper is uh, From News and the Mark Views, the information role of official and non-official newspaper in China. So this paper was done with uh, Joe Piotrowski, TJ Wang, and the Shu Bo, Shu Bo Zhang, who should be in the audience uh, now. So actually there are two types of newspaper in China. One is the official newspaper, which is uh, under direct control of the, of the central and the local communist party committee or the government institutions we call the uh, political organ newspaper or, or as uh, in Chinese should be Ji Guan Bao. This type of newspaper serves as uh, the mouthpiece of the Chinese government. And another type of newspaper is a non-official newspaper, which are not controlled by any of the preceding organization. But you should be reminded all the newspaper in China was uh, owned by the, by the state. So but if it's not controlled by the organization like the uh, CCP, uh, CCP committee or the, or the government agent, we, that's, uh, we define this as a non-official newspaper. So for this uh, newspaper with uh, orientation towards uh, reporting uh, business or economic financial news, so we include this kind of newspaper in the, in the, in the sample. So actually, so this is, uh, what's, the, what's the perception of this uh, Twitter newspaper by the, by the audience? So in a survey done by Stockman in 2012, so they, they asking the, the, the people say, uh, like uh, which newspaper gives you a feeling of the trust. So actually only about 17% of the respondents say they have the trust in the official newspaper. And uh, when they ask the question like, uh, say which, newspaper, which paper can best tackle or report about society is a real problem. Actually you can see only 8% of the respondents say the, the official newspaper are playing this role. So that means that uh, this is an indication like uh, the respondent do not have that high, very high perception on the, on the usefulness of the official newspaper. And in the academic, the paper done by Yu Zhang and Zhang in year 2018, the paper published in RFS. So they say by comparing a large sample of news article written by state controlled and the market oriented Chinese media, uh, they find the article by the market oriented media are more critical, uh, more accurate, and more comprehensive and more timely than those, than those are articles by the state controlled media. And in addition, they also find the official newspaper or the, uh, the state controlled newspaper does not play any corporate governance role in, if they are current the, the, the company. So that's a perception, one perception of the official newspaper. But however, if they look into the, into the practitioner, they have a different view. You can say this is one article saying uh, the news are report on at 7 p.m. every day from the CCTV, uh, which, which also a propaganda TV channel of, of the CCP. Uh, this is the information from this channel is the best information source for buying stock in China. So actually, according to my interaction with some fund manager, they are also pay a lot of attention to the people daily on the CCTV because uh, from there they think they can get some information about the it was for, for, the, for their investment decision. So what kind of information can we extract from the people data or from the official newspaper? So people data is a typical, the flagship newspaper of CCG. So this was uh, from the BBC News. So they track the percentage of the article, including the keywords like the ideology or the leadership by the party in the past, uh, say, 30 years. Uh, you can see, you can see the trend. So, like uh, you can look into the 
the, the pink line, you can see they emphasize more, emphasize more and more the leadership by the party. And also another keyword that they are looking to is uh, see the market economy in the People Daily. You can see the percentage uh, of the article touch this topic uh, is uh, getting lower and lower in the recent years. So this may be some information can be used by investors to see how they can make their investment in China market. So the motivation of this, uh, the overall motivation of this paper is uh, we can see the tighter state control, or say for example, over the official newspaper. This can increase the incentive to serve as the government mouthpiece for the paper. And also this newspaper may serve as the news outlet for conveying information about, about economic or industry policies. <clears throat> So the reduction in the political dependence may reduce the value of the non-official newspaper. For example, you can see this newspaper may have a weak connection to the government and they have a limited liability to obtain information about the government agents agenda or the, or the policies, which means uh, they have a limited channel to access the information to the owned by the, by the state or from the, from the, from the government. <clears throat> so typically we, raise this question in this paper, whether the degree of the state control or the party control over the media will affect the type of the information supplied to the market. So when we, when we, when we talk about the, the, the type of the newspaper, we, we are referring to official newspaper versus a non-official newspaper as defined in the, in the first slides. <clears throat> and regarding the type of the information, we look into the market-wide or the industry-wide information versus our firm specific information. So we are trying to, to, to see whether the official newspaper is providing more market or industry-wide information uh, compared with the non-official newspaper. So some institutional background, actually before year two, 1978, before the economic reform, uh, the open policy of the Chinese uh, uh, economy, all the newspapers uh, in that stage have a very well-defined and installed readership base. And the main function of the newspaper is to serve the uh, primary goal of the political agenda, which means uh, they only serve the, they have the political purpose. They serve the government for the propaganda. So after the year 1978, so the, the China launched this uh, economic reform uh, in 1978. And the same with this uh, reform, commercialization reform was also launched in the media industry. So that means that the media in China now can play some market role. So for example, they can, they can, they can do some advertising for the company and make some um, revenue by themselves from the market. In this way, the non-official newspaper, they have a greater freedom and financial incentive to respond to the market demand for news because now they have a stronger incentive to expand their readership. In this way, they can attract the, the customer for the advertisement. And the corporate news article published in the non-official business newspaper are less biased and less politically tainted than the corporate news article published by the uh, official newspaper because uh, the official newspaper here still um, have some uh, some uh, have a tighter control by the government. So they are the main function there still is to serve the propaganda of the government. So no matter what, how far the reform goes, the government continue to have a direct or indirect control over all the media outlet. So including the official and the non-official newspaper. So the, the, for the official newspaper, which means that for both types of newspapers, they are serving the propaganda um, of the government. This function may reduce the expected information content and the credibility of the official newspaper, which means uh, uh, they, they only serve the, they only serve, they only serve the, sorry. I, I. So they only serve the, <clears throat> they only serve the, the, the uh, political function. And uh, however, for the news article published by the non-official newspaper, they may subject to the similar political control, which means that uh, they, they may also be done not provide information to the market. So, Regarding the type of information provided to the market, so actually we have a other scenarios. See, different market participants may play different roles. For example, you can see we can see in the literature like uh, the insider, they are playing a, a, 
strong, stronger role in providing firm specific information. The paper has done by this, uh, these uh, researchers. And uh, another example is uh, the Ford financial analyst. The, 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 the function played by them is uh, they, they contribute more market wide and the industry wide information. And um, they, they are, that's, uh, that's the example for the different participants may play different information role. So they, they can extend this uh, spirit to our setting. Maybe the official and the non official newspaper also play in different roles regarding this uh, different type of information. So, for example, the non official newspaper may be more likely to engage in firm specific reporting than uh, official newspapers. So, they, because of by engaging in, by reporting some um, investi investigation report, so they can expand the readership of, by the audience. And also, you can see for this uh, non official newspaper, they can build up this connection with the current firms, which means they can exchange favors in the, in the reporting process. The non-official newspaper may be more inclined to report on factors behind the recent stock price change or the earnings performance of some individual firms because this can attract the, uh, the audience of like the individual investor. On the other side, the official newspaper may enjoy some may enjoy a close relationship with uh, their sponsoring government agency and the private unit. So this means that uh, they can uh, convey the political, political opinion or the policy related information to the market because uh, they can easily get this information from their sponsor. And the official newspapers are also likely to have a greater access to the economic data because uh, by itself, it's, it can also be regarded as a government agent and the more likely to cover political events because of the propaganda function played by the official newspaper. And they are more likely to frame the corporate news in the broader political context, like uh, when, the, when the industry have some policy, they will deliver this uh, message to, to see how this policy will shape the operation of the firms in the industry. So in this way, we have uh, two hypotheses uh, to test in the paper. The first one is that uh, the relative amount of industry in the market water information contained in the official newspaper article is uh, significantly higher than the relative amount of industry in the water, water level information contained in the non-official newspaper articles. And uh, if the official newspaper deliver more market wide or industry wide information, they, are, they also predict the firms covered by the official newspaper will, will exhibit a higher synchronicity in their, their stock price, which means that they will have less from specific information. So how we do the test? So we, we, we build up the data from the What's News, which is a commercial database of a domestic Chinese language newspaper and magazine articles. So we search uh, the trading name of each listed company from the database and then rely on the data machine Relying on the on the machine learning process, we clean the crowd news because uh, uh, there is some ambiguity in the firm's name. So, which means uh, some of the news, uh, some of the article we crowd may not be matched to the list of company we are intending to search. And we only keep the articles published in the official newspaper and not official business newspaper because of the focus on the capital market. So, we ex exclude those entertainment uh, newspapers. And uh, all the technical service uh, was provided by, by the data go linked to the company. So we, we have this company to do all the technical, technical uh, stuff uh, for this paper. In the end, we have a 2.8 million news article and uh, covering 3,100 firms uh, from uh, 100 unique, unique newspapers. So here's the distribution of the, of the data. So in, in total, you can see we have a, the data is a, is a relatively big. We have a 2.8 million article. And regarding the, the, regarding the firm day observation, because here we include the, the firm, firm trading days with or without the, the news article, and the analysis was performed at the firm day article level. That means in the end, being the final sample, our sample size is, um, is uh, almost a, 13 million observations in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the analysis. So 
to test the first uh, to test H1, the information at the industrial market level, market or firm level uh, information. So we need to identify how much information is as a as industry level or the market level. So we follow Leo 2011, uh, decompose the move in stock price into three components, driven by industry, market, and the firm information. So how we do that? So we run this model as for each firm year, and the way the prediction, the predicted components from uh, from this model say, uh, the first one is uh, the CR1, CRM. That means this is the market-wide information. And the second component, the second component is um, the industry components. So CRI, uh, which is the, the, the predicted part from, uh, from, uh, from this one. And the remaining we, we, will be defined as from specific information. So we, we, we are interested in the weight of a different type of information in the, in the, as for the firm days. So this is the weight, uh, the left side is the weight of the uh, industry-wide information. And this is the weight for the industry plus market water information in the in the run the change in the stock price for the day. And also we look into another measure for the for the industry level information. So we define this as uh, the propensity of mo moving in the same direction as that of the industry returns, which means uh, if the firm stock price moves uh, in the same direction as the industry index, we define this variable as one. So that means that if the firm, uh, if the if the neutral article has a more industry-wide information, the change in the stock price will be more likely to move in the same direction as the industry. So this is the result. You can see here the overall in the first row uh, through this uh, six column. We can see for any firm when they have a media coverage. In general, they have a uh, less industry or market water information because uh, the coverage by itself is a firm specific. So which means uh, this firm must have something new, uh, different from the from the market. But our int the, the, the our interest of the paper is uh, say, but however you can see when the news article is from the official newspaper, you can see they have a much higher level of the industry or market market wide information. You can see the interaction news are coverage uh, and official, the coefficient is a significantly positive in the, uh, the, 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 the T value is a, is a, is, is big key. And we, we also look into the impact of the media coverage on the synchronicity. So we borrow this uh, measure from the literature by starting by Randall in year 203 in GFT paper. So we run this uh, market model by re regressively return on the market return and the industry return. So the R square from this uh, model, from this uh, model for each from year, we design this uh, synchronicity. So the higher for this uh, synchronicity means uh, the more market water information driving the, the volatility in the, in the stock price for this uh, from year, over the year. So which means uh, the lower for this uh, measure means uh, the lower the, the, the lower for this measure, which means the lower for the for the from specific information. So we run this model. So the left hand side is synchronicity. So the right hand side we have a different measure for the intensity of the coverage by different type of newspaper. Column one, that's the total number of the news article. You can see when the when the firm has a intensive media coverage in the year. So the synch synchronicity is much lower. That means uh, there's a more from specific, inf specific information was delivered to the market. So, but however, when we decompose the coverage into official news article and the non-official news article, you can see when there's a higher intensity by the coverage by the official newspaper. So the synchronicity will actually will increase. Uh, but when, the, when we have a more non-official newspaper article, the synchronicity will decrease. We also design this a relative measure for the official media coverage. So which means uh, the number of the news article from the official newspaper over the non-official newspaper, you can see this is uh, positive, which means uh, the relatively intensity of the official newspaper will increase synchronicity of the, of the stock price. We also do some uh, cross-sectional analysis here. <clears throat> So 
they look into a hierarchical newspaper. So they classify the official newspaper into central official and the local official, which means uh, the official newspaper controlled by the central government, you can see they are delivering a higher level of uh, industry or market water information. So compare with uh, the local official newspaper because uh, in China, most of the policy comes uh, from, the, from, uh, from the top, the central government. We also look into the National Congress of the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, because uh, this is a big event in China. A lot of uh, econ important economic policy was, uh, was defined, was made in this, uh, in this period. So you can see here, we, we, we classify our sample into Congress period and non-Congress period. So we can, the, 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 the finding we have here is uh, the official newspaper in the Congress period, actually they are delivering more market-wide in the industry-wide information. So which is consistent with our expectation. So we also look into another event which is, uh, I think we are the first one to use this event. So actually in, in year 2016 on February 19th, President Xi Jinping take a visit to CCTV, the, the China Central TV. So on, the, on, that, on that visit, uh, President Xi Jinping make a, make a speech. So actually the, 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 the main idea of the speech is uh, all the official newspaper should carry the last name of the party. Uh, so you can see the, the, this is the welcome slogan by the CCTV. The meaning here is a CCTV carries the last name of the, of the party and uh, we are being absolutely loyal to the party. And the police uh, take a uh, inspection, which means uh, you can see uh, this basically actually may have some uh, impact on the, on the operation of the media industry in China. So we are trying to utilize this um, change to see whether the, the, the media industry has changed. So actually you can see we, we, we do this analysis for before and after his visit. You can see after his visit, so the, the official newspaper are delivering uh, more market wide information or industry wide information. But uh, regarding the non-official newspaper actually they are, they are more firm specific. So this means that uh, there was some divergence for the, for the non-official and the official newspaper, which means uh, after his visit, the official newspaper becomes uh, more political, but the non-official newspaper now becomes more, maybe become more market oriented. We also look into another setting by looking into the policy shock. We track all the policies issued by the Chinese government between year 2000 and the two, 2017. So in total, we, we, we crawl um, 52,000 economic policies from the website of our China industry policy website. And uh, we only keep the policy introduced by the central government. And we match these uh, policies into specific industry. So we call this as industry policy. Or the policy will be treated as a macro policy which will influence uh, all the firms in the market. So actually we, we look into the, the, the firm, uh, we, we, we look into the firm days um, with a policy introduction, which means uh, on that day, the, there's a new policy comes to the market, uh, either at the industry level or, or at the market level. You can see here is um, when there's a new policy comes to the market. So the official newspaper is playing a much stronger role in delivering industry level information. And uh, we also look into the content of the news article. Uh, we through some, uh, I do, due to time uh, um, constraint, I will not go through the detail for this uh, technical stuff. So we, we do the LD for each, uh, for, for, the, for our cops, for the, for the documents. So we identify 64 industry, 64 industry topics. And we identify um, 68 marked topics. Um, in these uh, documents, and uh, we calculate the weight of, of this these articles are in the in the in the in the in each article. So that means uh, whether this article is uh, delivering or discussing more about the industry or the or the or the overall economy. And we so this is the one example for the for the for our construction. So you can see the the bottom one is a non-official newspaper. The yellow the high 
the 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 part highlighted in the in the yellow color is uh, the firm specific information. The top one is our official newspaper. You can see uh, the yellow part is uh, only takes a, a much smaller bit of the article. So we are doing this uh, test, and also we we also look count the 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 industry names mentioned about the about the article, which means that if the article talks more about the about the uh, industry, they may be more likely to mention the industry name. So we build up the dictionary from the guidelines from for industry classification by the CSRC in China. So this is our finding. You can see the official newspaper, they have a much higher content, uh, much higher weight on the industry or the market content or the top market or industry industry topic. And uh, they, they use more industry names in their, in their, uh, in, in, the, in the article. And we, after we doing all this, we do a lot of additional tests. I uh, do not to repeat this uh, here. So this, we, we, I come to the conclusion. Actually, in the general conclusion here is uh, the prior literature saying the official newspaper does not deliver information to the market. So actually, the, 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 the finding of this paper is uh, we are, what we are seeing here, that may not be true. So the official newspaper does not deliver, may not be delivering that much from specific information, but it delivers a uh, much more industrial or market value information to the market uh, because it's a connection to the government or the political control by the government. So that's my, my presentation. I will pass the floor to Oliver and look forward to his uh, comments over the paper. Thank you, Chen Yu. Up next, we have Professor Oliver Lee to discuss the paper. Okay, uh, I really appreciate this opportunity uh, to talk about uh, uh, this paper. Uh, first, I'm going to say my initial impression of the paper. I think I enjoyed it a lot. I'm glad to see that this is not pitched as a media bias paper. So I really appreciate the effort of the author uh, to, to when, when, when it comes to uh, interpreting the result of the paper. Uh, uh, you know, the overall impression of the paper, I, I think I see a calming effect of uh, official papers, which means official papers simply reduce idiosyncratic volatility. And this is simply the mean effect of the paper, and it's uh, making a lot of sense. Now, um, we would imagine that news articles always bring about uh, firm-specific news uh, that's uh, creating idiosyncratic volatility. And this is exactly what uh, non-official newspapers are going to do, because they're only talking about, uh, most probably they're only talking about one firm. So they increase idiosyncratic volatility. And there are other reasons that I believe they will increase idiosyncratic volatilities. On the other hand, official papers, you know, when they are talking about a firm, even if when they are talking about one firm, they are also talking about, for example, in conjunction, uh, they'll be also mentioning business environment and maybe a couple of other firms and other factors. Uh, therefore, of course, they're going to reduce, um, they're going to add a more consistency and agreement into the system. They're going to reduce excess volatility. Uh, uh, that, I think, is the me mechanism of the paper, which I think, you know, I think it's very important to emphasize that China and U.S. are very different. You know, our, our session is about China and U.S. China, very, China and U.S. are very different. And it's really a goal of two different approaches. We all want, the goal is what? The goal is prosperity and uh, uh, capital market uh, stability. And uh, that is a goal, the goal is common, but there are two different approaches. Uh, if you look at the US literature, uh, uh, you know, in the US, uh, uh, politicians were talking about proposing a, uh, talking about uh, levying a Tobin's tax, which is a transaction tax. So a transaction tax or Tobin's tax is designed to reduce ex excess volatility in the U.S. capital market. Uh, but uh, 
Trans tokens tax is basically a tra basically a transaction tax. By increasing transaction costs, it, it, it can uh, dissuade uh, informed investors as well as informed uh, uninformed uh, as, as well as uninformed investor. Which means it can actually in, uh, reduce information economy, information efficiency in the system by squeezing out informed investors also. So I would say this approach is more head-on and it's very confrontational. Okay, I, 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 and I believe obviously it's going to have welfare losses, but on the other hand, China uses a a different approach, which is the official approach, which is using the official press uh, to to reduce excess volatility. So this is basically using a semi-administrative tool, uh, and it's not monetary. Uh, it might be less costly, and more importantly, I think it's more persuasive. It's not very confrontational. And uh, we can, so we can conclude that, you know, they're different. Uh, I think there must be, there might be something about persuasion over confrontation. Okay. Uh, that is, it is rather the other way around. A market mechanism could be very rough and stiff. Okay. Sometimes not very efficient, but a government, I would say the Chinese system is a government guided system. It could be soft and tender. Uh, so there might be something about uh, pers using persuasion. Now, uh, there's an issue with the paper, you know, if we only look at the proportion of market and industry component or synchronicity, we fail to see individual movement, uh, individual movement. You know, we fail to see the movement of systematic and idiosyncratic volatility. Uh, we know that stock return is already a ratio. So we should really, we, we really should look at uh, systematic and idiosyncratic volatility separately. Uh, concerning the measure, the first measure, I thought, you know, I went back and uh, look at uh, Liu's paper. I thought it's a strange measure. You know, he's got this two-tiered regression, uh, regression approach. First, he's going to regress industry return on the market, then he's going to back out an industry beta, plug it in, then, you know, then, you know, he's going to get rid of the market uh, portion and the industry industry portion and uh, the remaining he would say this is firm specific. You know, uh, you know. So if you look at this part, right? If you look at this part, adding apps by adding absolute values, it's I I think it's definitely not appealing. This approach is uh, is a little strange. You know, all I think all Liu achieves is like having an R square of an absolute version of the OLS. And he achieved this in a much less intuitive way. Okay, so the point of using a uh, loose two-tier regression, I think it's not necessary. We can simply focus on synchronicity or co-movement. Co now, uh, they are all on co-movement, right? And what is the explanation? The explanation is very, very simple. Readerships are different. Readership depth and width are different. So official paper have greater and diverse uh, readership. It's read by everybody, right? So when an article approaches more people, obviously it reduces synchro uh, reduce synch uh, synch uh, idiosyncratic volatility uh, by enhancing agreement or simply informed it, um, informedness. Uh, readers certainly pay more attention to the uh, to the, the official papers because they're authoritative and trustworthy. Okay, so a non-official article that you know a non-official article only reaches a small group of people, uh, and certainly this is going to cause uh, differences in opinion, and that's idiosyncratic volatility. So that would be a very natural explanation. But I, you know, in terms of the methodology, uh, I hate to say it, uh, there's there's no uh, there's no identification. Uh, which is fine, you know. I think uh, we see a lot of paper without ostensibly having uh, identification. But I think my, uh, my identification is in this case is is important because news articles on a firm is obviously not exogenous. For example, if you have a lot of excess volatility or synch or, synch or, or idiosyncratic volatility, this is going to increase the demand for and as well as supply of newspaper articles from various levels, certainly including official official papers. So, which means excess volatility would induce official articles that, that, that are served to mitigate it, okay? 
Uh, and stock return and newspaper articles could also be in, 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 induced by, influenced by some other factors, common factors. So I think, you know, uh, all the above, these, these, these arguments are reasonable. Uh, uh, and, it's, uh, and they combine to suggest that, you know, certainly it's endogenous, right? It's certainly endogenous. Uh, now, the Bay paper basically provide only cross-sectional analysis. Even the pre Chinese president's visit is not a, uh, is, is, is also a cross-sectional test. So it, it, it may not be very useful because it picks up a time trend and not a difference in time trend. Now, you, have, you, you consider this literature, you know, there's actually a big literature on this. You know, if was, for example, the Pope's visit, right? Pope's visit of various cities in reducing sin, like abortion and things like that, abortion and drug trafficking. Now, he has visited many different cities at different points in time. So this is a very nice difference in different sets, which is a sort of lacking in this paper. But I, again, I'm saying you don't need to do that, right? You don't need to do this. Uh, so I would say and conclude that official paper only, you know, just plays a damper role in this association, okay? Now, I'm gonna talk a little bit about, about identification, you know, uh, it's going to be hard because the research is done on individual firms and they're using newspapers, the authors are newspapers. So maybe, you know, consider some kind of IV approach to mitigate this, right? Now, let's, let me go back to, uh, to, this, to talk about what do I mean by a damper, right? You know, as in skyscrapers on top of the skyscraper, you actually have a very he heavy ball, right? A very heavy piece of metal. This serves to reduce the swing of the building, right? So the damper, which is the official paper uh, reduces the swing of the economy. Why, why it, it, it can do this? Because it's ponderous, right? Because it's heavy, okay? So why official papers are a damper? Because, you know, this, I, I, I think it's consistent with age old Chinese philosophy. I mean, you don't want to show your strength ostensibly, right? You want to buy time and hide the strength, which China needed and still needs right, I believe. So official paper will certainly not behave like, you know, global times, which is used to say things that official paper find it inconvenient to say, but nevertheless, nevertheless, these things have to be said, right? Uh, more than that, I think this is consistent with, a, a, this is a practice consistent with old Chinese tradition. And I think it's an indication of maturity in its state governance. And I believe it's a governance that is at the same time modern and traditional. Why? Why? Uh, you know, we, 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 we cannot think all these research, all these factors in isolations, right? Accounting, look at accounting. Accountants look at accounting topic, finance, uh, uh, economists look at economists. You know, accounting rules, financial regulations, press, they are all components of an intricate they're all components in an intricate system of state governance. We, need, we, 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 we should not be shy of raising our research state to a higher level. And it's not just about politics. I think you know, politics are important in China, but it's not all about uh, um, uh, politics. Okay? It's really about uh, the, 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 you know, whether uh, the country you know, can, be, can, be, can, be, can be ruled in an efficient, and you know, every whether whether people will be happy, right? Whether people will be happy. So it is not this difficult to imagine that the official pro, uh, pri press should co-move with the stock market. I think it's hard to, it's not hard to imagine that, right? Now, if we have to model this maturity, and I also added wisdom, right? In governance, I guess you know, maybe you know. Uh, in a centralized government on economy, the official press is a tool to mitigate coordination failures in the economy. The purpose is to reduce risk, excess volatility, or sometimes even systematic volatility, uh, systematic risk, right? You know, like, you know, they stop Alibaba's, uh, you know, and, and, and finance some um, uh, IPO. Official, which means, you know, in China, official papers serve to rein in non-official paper without completely suppressing them. They still need the non-official papers. And the result might be an optimum for China on many dimensions. For example, uh, uh, the reduction in risk at various levels, different types of risk, uh, avoid avoidance of excess volatility, but still getting the message to 
a select group of uh, a select a select audience, right? And this is potentially cost effective, and at the same time, it retains enough vitality and differences in the system, which is important, right? You don't want everybody to be agreeing, right? So it actually is. It's, it actually it, it has a, it has a mechanism of retaining differences in the economy. Okay. Uh, before I, I conclude, I think, by the way, uh, the way you pitch the paper, I think it's, it might be a, there might be a conflict with the literature. You know, normally, synchronicity curve movement is used, an, is used an, as an indicator for low information efficiency in the market, right? If you look at random Marx paper, they're talking about, you know, less developed economy will have R higher R squares because they are, they are less developed, right? Now, if you are saying just by the fact just by the result, you know, just looking at the results, you're thinking, you know, um, uh, official paper increases the market and uh, industry component, which is it, it increases R squared. Uh, and that is good, right? You know, but, you know, I think you, I think it's nice to say that is good. But, uh, you know, the official paper, uh, you know, that would be inconsistent with the literature, right? So if, if that is, then, then all those factors that increase R squared, uh, will be considered good, right, for, for, for an economy. I think a lot of people, if they look at this carefully, be, uh, 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 they will be, they will be, I think they will disagree. And I think, um, uh, you, know, that, that, you know, so we need to think about this, you know, how to, how to balance uh, uh, the argument, you know, balance uh, the conclusion and, and the argument. Others, uh, I think um, uh, synchronicity, maybe you want to draw through a regression, but, or, by regressing on market as well as industry returns. Uh, now, by avoiding you know, how to mitigate selection bias, same firm, same day is actually not solving the issue of different content because the official paper and uh, now official papers are absolutely talking about different things. Finally, I think the, the language of the paper is very professional. Uh, but sometimes you, you see like mouth paper. It's also mentioned uh, many times in the presentation. And the mouth paper in, in Chinese is actually throat and tongue. It's really not a nice word, right? I think, you know, uh, a research article should be, you know, the language should be cooler. So I'm just going to conclude it. I think it's a great paper, very publishable, but, you know, there's no need to heed my comments. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Oliver, for the for very insightful comments. Uh, Tianyu, would you like to take some time to respond to the discussion? Uh, thank you, Oliver, for all the great comments. Actually, we, regarding the, the measurement for the market-wide information and the industry-wide information, uh, we, we have a hard time on, on, on coming up to this uh, construct. So we look into literature, see how we can capture this, uh, this uh, message. So Lewis paper is the one we, we are coming to. So as you have said, we, we, we think the, the measure have kind of capture some of the and sense of the information, but we also worry this maybe because the, as you have said, the, ratio, the return by itself is a ratio already. When we have this uh, complicated construct again, what's the meaning for that? That's why later on we also develop some other measurement like the commitment with the industry and the synchronicity. So um, we, we agree with the concern and then we will think about how shall we, we handle this, whether we shall drop this measure or not. So we, it's, it's well taken. So the second big comment I think is uh, about the selection of, of the coverage. I totally agree. So, I, so the, 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 the media coverage is, um, is not exonerated. So in, at which stage the official newspaper will, will cover the company will make its voice. So maybe due to the volatility in the market. I totally agree with that. So we are trying hard to, to address this. So we use the same from uh, same day, trying to see they are kind of similar and the event, and line event. We also can find the analysis to the running the announcement date, uh, a very short window. We are trying our best to, to address this, but we, uh, we, we still think we cannot address this uh, perfectly in this, uh, in this paper, but we are trying to, Look into some specific settings, see whether we can do a better job on this. So that's my response for these uh, two great comments. For the others, they will look into into the details. So I hope um, 
Oliver can pass me the PPT. We can do a do more work on that. Thank you, Oliver. Sure. Then uh, let's uh, open the floor for question. I see in the Q and A chat box that we have a couple of questions from Bo Yun. Uh, Yun, are you here? Would you like to speak up? The uh, findings of the paper are very intuitive. Out of curiosity, how exactly do official newspaper produce more informative macro industry information? Do they gather the information themselves? or the government provides them with the information? This is the first question. So regarding this question, actually, uh, actually in the presentation, I gave one example. Uh, it's uh, the, for the TCL. The firm was covered by of one, one article from the official newspaper and the one from the non-official newspaper. From there, we can see, actually, the information is mainly of, if you ask me whether information source is from the credit by themselves or from the government, I should see they have the convenience to get the information from the government. And then when they cover the firm, uh, they, they, they have interest. Normally they are they using the, they, they take the angle like I see, this is the policy, and this policy will shape the operation or the behavior of this firm in this industry. So that's a, a typical um, position the article from the official newspaper. But if you look into another, say, non-official newspaper, when they cover the firm, they will say they, they, they have this policy. Then they saw the firms they are reacting this way, like looking into the accounting performance, look into the, the strategy of the company or the other, say, investment of the, of the company. So I think they, they are taking different angle when they cover the firms. So that's why in the end, the information they deliver to the market will be different. So the official newspaper may deliver more market or industry-wide information, but the non-official newspaper will be more firm specific. So thank you for the, for the, for the question. The second one. Oh uh, yeah, I, the, the, the finding, how the finding will be, uh, be influenced by the advertising revenue. Uh, here, actually, this is a typical conflict of interest between the for, the for the for the media coverage. So I I have to say that we do not have the data. So what I'm saying is, uh, see, this may influence the tones of the news article covering the company. So if you have more advertising revenue from this customer when you cover this firm, so that will that will influence the tones how they, they position the, the article. But I'm not sure how this will influence the, the, the specificity, specificity of the information. I, I'm not sure about this. There are, there are more questions. Any other questions from the audience? So, so can I ask a question? Sure. So, so actually, uh, TNU, I was kind of reading your definition of news coverage. So my understanding is uh, uh, you guys focus on the firm-specific news only, uh, whether it's yeah. in official newspaper or in not a uh, non-official newspaper. But then kind of uh, in, your, in your measurement, kind of you talk about firm-specific uh, firm uh, news and non-firm-specific news, right? So, so for example, it, it's not hard for me to imagine in uh, official newspapers, uh, they could cover essentially uh, non-firm-specific news, uh, yeah. but they are mentioning some of the leaders in certain industries. Uh, so as a result of that, you would classify this as uh, a firm-specific news. But then in other situations, maybe the, the mouthpiece may be talking about uh, some news uh, for like industry level or, or like a country level without mentioning any company names. Then those, those news will be kind of omitted from your sample, right? right. So, so I just wonder, uh, Kind of whether whether kind of this omission could uh, make a big impact on your inference. So, yeah, that's a yeah, that's a that's a reasonable concern. 
So my response here is uh, the finding in our paper actually is uh, should, be, should be the lower part of the information like the mark of the industry-wide information provided by the official newspaper. So which means uh, they may offer more information at the industrial or market level, but which is not captured in our analysis. So that's, uh, uh, I should say maybe a bias against our finding. So uh, we just identified the lower bar. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how this may, because any kind of, uh, uh, for certain days uh, where you have no uh, official newspaper discussion about a specific company, then you are taking away those observations, right? Yeah, right, right. So, so I don't know exactly how that may impact your, your overall conclusion. So it's a little bit hard for me to say, because I don't know like what a percentage of the, uh, for official newspapers, my, my guess is, a big chunk of the information is about non-companies specific. Yeah, you're right. Uh, but they, so, they could also have an impact on the company's return, right? Yeah, yeah. So then exact how this plays out in, in, in the regression, it's a little bit harder for me to see immediately. Yeah, let me see how we can, we can try to address that. Yeah, because if we do not have a, certain handout to track the news, the hard for us to, to collect that, that part of the information. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, can, I, can I also ask a question? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. so, uh, so based on, so you have a hundred newspapers. So based on the description in table one, so more than half of the newspaper uh, you know that there, there, there are more than half of the provinces that doesn't have any official, a uh, non-official newspaper, which is uh, I don't know, which looks weird because I, you know, uh, I guess every every provinces would have some kind of non-official newspaper. So why is it so, or is it the coverage of the 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 the, the, the newspaper that you will cover in your paper? Uh, how do you choose the newspaper that is included in your sample? So it's, it's a good point. Actually, the 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 new, or the original news was called from Was News. This is a company founded in the year nineteen ninety eight. They have a huge uh, human labor to collect all the news, uh, news article, original news article from the from the press. Uh, I have to admit that the database by itself, they they do not cover all the media in China. So they, they are claiming they cover a lot of the media. In total, they cover over 600 uh, media outlets, including newspaper and the uh, magazines. I think they omitted some of the newspapers in China, including some of the official newspapers uh, by some provinces. So I agree with that. They, they omitted some, some of the official newspaper. But, uh, I'm not sure, and I, I don't think this uh, omission will influence our finding, because when they are, when they are, unless we can see some uh, systematic selection in the in the coverage, so we can see may, that may may influence or influence some bias to our finding. But according to my interaction with the with the data vendor, we just see for some of the news news press. We cannot sign the agreement to get get the, get the original article, and especially in recent years, uh, because there is another data vendor was found in China, so the 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 press signed the agreement with uh, another data vendor in mainland China, so they terminate terminate the contract with the the Hong because this company was uh, lo located in Hong Kong, they terminate the contract with this company. So uh, I agree. So we we have some limitation in the or original data, but we. Frankly speaking, they cannot address that. So that's the um, largest data source we can we can we can approach so far. Okay, so so one of the things because I noticed that you know so for those firms that were uh, I guess it's based on the headquarter, right? So that are that were from those provinces that there's no uh, non-official news cover uh, in your database at all, there are no chance they will be covered by non-official news. 
So one thing that I don't know how is it, how, how large is the sample come from those provinces, but the one thing that you may, mm -hmm. because you know, they, by default, uh, based on your the coverage of the newspaper, they will automatically be included in the in the group that has not has no non-official news cover. So yeah, one yeah. thing I'm I'm thinking that you can do is actually uh, to focus on the type of for, uh, the the for firms that are uh, in provinces that have both type of news uh, newspaper uh, covering those uh, those firms, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's well taken. We will try to do that. Yeah, it's a good comments. Yeah. Uh, any other questions from the audience? If not, I have uh, I have one question to you. I think this is a very uh, very interesting paper, and you did uh, a lot whole bunch of effort in collecting this uh, news article. So I think there's still been many things uh, that many things can be done here. So uh, my question is: When you are pitching the paper, uh, trying to 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 measure whether this information is market-based information or a firm-specific information. The high-level conclusion is that you are saying that uh, they are doing a complementary uh, role in, in China for these two uh, medias. So can we also say that they are complementary in other sense, in the sense that uh, because so far you are not measuring the, the the direction of the news, whether they're good news or, or bad news. So whether the uh, non-state-owned media are also trying to cover specific firms so that they are trying to uh, disseminate information that is also consistent with the state-owned media enterprises, what they're uh, telling, so that to, to make the, the story consistent as a whole? Is this something that they are doing behind the scenes? You mean we, we, you are suggesting us to look into the tones of the media? Or, you mean we, we look into the, you, when you see the direction, what do you mean? The, the tones of the media or what? The news article? Yeah, the, the, the media's article is like what type of firms that they are covering, are they, covering, are they disseminating a similar piece of information that the state-owned enterprise are, uh, are talking about? Although they are using some firm-specific uh, information in their coverage. Yeah. yeah, we can look into that, yeah. Yeah, actually we have the data actually for the, for the coverage we are exploring for this uh, for this uh, situation, so we are still exploring. So why the official newspaper in some stage cover one company, so which is not done yet? We are we yeah that's a great comment. We are looking to this uh, now. Yeah, may not be included in this paper, but we are definitely we are looking to it. Yeah, yeah, probably it's too long for this one. Yeah. Okay. If any other comments and questions from the audience or the panelists? If not, we uh, we would like to thank Tian Yu for doing this interesting paper and Oliver for the very insightful discussion again. Uh, we can take a slightly earlier break, one more minute left. Uh, let's come back for the final, for the third session at 11, 11 a.m. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.